This is Dave at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Mass. Today we're going to be looking at a Rockwood 2608 BS. BS means bedroom slide. This is a front kitchen model. We ordered this with the slide toppers, the theater seats, and power jacks or stabilizers. So let's take a look around the unit. We got the front windshield. This is automotive grade windshield. I've had a lot of questions over the years about this. Uh, what's the risk of rock damage is the number one question I get. In all the years we've sold this, these models with the front windshield like this, I've never had one come back with rock damage. So the, the quality of that glass, the strength of it is high enough that it is um, resistant to that. Also, <clears throat> I think it's high enough up that you know that you have the the um, diamond plate on the bottom. That's really where you're going to see the most impact from any kind of uh, pebbles or rocks from the road. Uh, I don't think uh, many are making their way up there. But even if they did, it's a very strong glass. Power jack is standard on the Rockwood. 30 pound bottles. Double wide battery box. mentioned earlier we have the power stabilizers and slide toppers slide toppers are great for keeping water leaves even sunlight off of that uh, membrane over the slide rooms just increases the the life of that membrane and protects your camper magnet latches one of my favorites this is the storage under the dinette. The main um, sewer outlet is here. This is the black and gray, easy access. Most of the time, this is where you're gonna be uh, dumping from. There is a galley tank on this unit located towards the front of this slide. That's just for the kitchen sink, and it's 45 gallons, so it's not gonna fill quickly. So you won't have to go to that one often. Your main outside storage is under the bed. This is your largest storage compartment. Fifty amp service. Rockwood's been doing this on the ultralights and the signatures now for, I think, um, at least for the last six months. Because uh, even with the one AC, it's already wired for a second AC. And if you did decide to get the second air conditioner, you would be all set. You wouldn't have to do uh, any sort of extra um, installations or wiring or anything. It's already set up for that. Get the Furion uh, backup camera plate. Always recommend that camera for safety. Rockwood's been putting uh, the water uh, connections in the same spot, trying to keep everything together. They have the potable water, the shower, all that right in this corner. Black tank flush, which is just fantastic. Sanitary, easy. Always recommend doing that when you're dumping uh, at the site. City water and of course antifreeze inlet if you're going to try to winterize on your own. All right, so just wanna get a shot of the side. We have two entry doors. We have one into the bedroom and then one into the living area uh, slash kitchen. And these are more ride steps standard and i love the three step because the three step has the piston assist with them so actually even though they're bigger than the two steps that you get in some of the mini lights it's actually easier to to lift up and really look at i just my hands not on there it just stays up it's so easy to lift up and down it's easy to adjust easy to adjust the the height of either leg This 
this is the spot for the TV mount if you decided to do that. And the outside griddle. Actually, in this case, the griddle would go here because this is where the, the LP connect is. That other rail is where a table would go. That would hang off of the side. Let me see if I can get under here and give you a good look of uh, what's going on underneath. So you can see enclosed underbelly. What's great about enclosed underbelly is there's a few things. One, uh, something that a lot of people don't think about at first, the enclosed underbelly helps with towing. The air travels um, over that. Instead of getting stuck in air pockets underneath, uh, that can affect how you're towing. This actually helps with a smoother tow. It's better for insulation and it's better for keeping critters out. Rockwood is now doing the uh, tire pressure monitoring system standard. So it's already come with the tire pressure monitoring system. Um, Torflex torsion axles for a smoother ride. Rockwood's been doing that for many years now. This unit, dry weight, 6849. And the total length from hitch to bumper, 29 feet 11 inches. And Rockwood uh, did that on purpose. They want to get it under 30 feet because they know that there's campsites that have 30 feet and under limitations or restrictions. So many of the Rockwood ultralights, the, the 26 models, 2608, 2612, 2614, all of those, they are purposely just under 30 feet. I'm trying to get you the most that they can give you just under 30 feet. So you see the kitchen, all that counter space, that solid surface counter space, with the storage. Three burner cooktop. Now seeing how this has all developed over the years, this cover uh, makes me very happy <laughs> because the old style was that metal, it was raised, it scratched easy, it dented easy. Not only that, what they've improved upon here, look at these hinges. See that? The old style was this really thin stuff, this metal, and it would just always bend and warp. And there would always be issues with it. This is just a, a so much more solid, it's usable. And then another feature you see in the Rockwoods is this nice big oven. Uh, Oh, so um, this interior, this is the stone. The other option is chocolate, which is darker, but this is the stone and this is the standard flooring, which is lighter. And the woodwork in here is slate wood. Entertainment center, very practical, how it's located right across from the theater seating and the electric fireplace, which does throw heat. That's another question I get uh, quite often. It does work, it's supplemental heat. TV, you don't have to crane your neck, it's right there. Now this unit you can get with either the, the booth dinette, like you see here, or you can get it with a freestanding table and chairs. I like the booth because it gives you an extra place to sleep and more storage. And that table you can move around. You can even put it outside if you want. I like the lighting in here. There's plenty of windows, for natural light. Bathroom off to the side. And of course the Max Air fan moves a lot of air, 900 cubic feet a minute. It's not that cheap plastic fan that you see in some units that doesn't do anything. 
We have an 80 by 60 queen bed. You can get around it. You don't have to crawl over anyone or anything. And the mirror wardrobe. Like the solid door for the shower. Beats the curtain. Sometimes with the curtain, uh, <laughs> water can start to get out side of the shower, which you don't want, but with the solid door, that is not going to happen. So this is the Rockwood 2608 BS. This is a 2020 model. And it's a, and it's a what I would call a true 2020 because it was built um, very late in 2019. I think this came two, two or three months ago, maybe even uh, less time than that. So what you see here is what you're going to be seeing for many months to come now. It's currently February of 2020. So I would expect at least through July, this is the type of design and colors and all that that you're going to be seeing for a while. So if you were to order one right now, uh, it would still uh, look just like this. So you can see it at Russo's RV in Lakeville, Mass. I hope you have a great day. It's Valentine's Day. It's 28 degrees out, so <laughs> uh, it actually feels like winter. But I hope you have a great day and hope to see you on the lot.